Hi, I'm Karen. I'm a trainer here at the Princeton Club. Today I'm going to show you how to do some balance work using the stability ball. So the main thing we're going to start with is once you sit on the ball, you want to bounce up and down a little bit. Make sure that your two sit bones, basically your glutes, are both hitting the ball. Once you're in that position, you're going to stay nice and tall. It helps to engage your core. So once you sit on the ball, you're going to feel your tummy muscles kind of contract. What we're going to do is we're going to work on forward and backward rotation or pelvis. It's called anterior and posterior rotation, or you can call it 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So what you're going to do is you're going to tuck your pelvis and you're going to bring it forward. That's going to be my 6 o'clock. As I bring my pelvis back, that's my 12 o'clock. The purpose of this is to help have the pelvis kind of move separately from your trunk. So I don't want to be doing any of this. It's just my hips moving forward and back. You can do that about 10 times. Then we're going to go side to side. This is called lateral side, so I shift my weight to one hip, I go to the center, I shift it back. This is going to be my 9 o'clock to my 3 o'clock. That's just to kind of get the hips ready. Once you do that about 5 or 10 times, then you're ready where you can put it all together. So I call it a clock. So I'm going to tuck my pelvis forward, I'm going to come up, I'm going to go over to my left hip, it's from my 3 o'clock to my 6 o'clock, and then to my 9 o'clock. So I just make a clock around. Nice and easy, hitting each spot. Once I have done that, I want to work on a little bit of single leg balance. Balancing is really important, especially as we get older, we start to lose some of our balance. So a stability ball is a good thing to use to kind of challenge you on your balancing. So what you're going to start with is putting your hands on the ball for balance, and then you're just going to slowly lift the leg up to stabilize. One of the reasons why I like to start with that weight shifting side to side, is you can see when I lift a leg, I kind of have to move that ball laterally so I can balance myself. You can make it harder by taking your hands off of the ball. You can challenge yourself changing your base of support where you bring the hands over your head. If it's still easy, you can close your eyes, take out your vision, and you can do it that way for single leg balance. So this is kind of the basics of just working on some of your balance activities um, using the stability ball. Thank you.